Welcome back to the channel. So I had to take a little hiatus there. Took some R and R time. Uh, went and saw the tulips out there in uh, Iowa. What an experience that was. Really a lot of fun. So in any case, um, got a quick little video today on a helper column and uh, when you would use this and so forth. So we've got this uh, data, this budget, and this uh, spreadsheet will be available on the website uh, for you to download, and we'll provide a link to that uh, in the comments. Uh, you've got the spreadsheet where uh, you have all these blank rows and you want to kind of get rid of them uh, you want to filter them out and you can use the filter function but in this case we're gonna I'm gonna show you why you why a filter or a, a helper column uh, may be a better choice for you a better solution to your to your spreadsheet so so here we go so we're gonna select this we're gonna add filter column and in this we're gonna use an if statement you remember the old if then else from from your TI computer when you got it back in the day. If I'm dating myself, I'm old. Uh, and we're going to say equals if. So your if statement is if. And it's the if then else. So if this is greater than zero, then we're going to put a one in here. Else, anything else would be a zero. So boom. And then we're going to copy this all the way down the bottom. Boom. So then all we have to do is we go to our true false, our helper column, and put us we unclick the zero. And we have this all done. Now we can take a look at this and say, well, you know what? And this is one of the benefits of using a helper column versus just being able, able to filter this. So if you went here and you said, well, John, you can just go here and just uncheck that and you get all the zeros. True. However, let's say in this case that we wanted to, we wanted to keep this this line here because we didn't like the totals mashed up against the individual lines so then we could go over here to this line and say well, rather than have the if equation we can just put a one in here and it'll be static the whole time so then we can go up and filter we can go up and filter this and now we have that line in here always to kind of buffer between these two blocks of data. And if we had a situation where, let's say in this case, we, we had, this is a um, this is a personal budget. Let's say we wanted to divide this budget into, you know, savings lines only down here, and then regular monthly expenses or fixed monthly expenses, and then, you know, uh, variable expenses, and then savings, amounts um, and within the end of each one of those like you you had you know you had uh, zeros then you would want to be able to keep certain lines and not others so it is a uh, it is a useful tool it can also you know helper columns can also be uh, an interim set of data to where you know if um, you know, if you're, you're performing a complex calculation and you need uh, to kind of break it down, you can put that into a helper column as well. Or if you need certain variables to be true and certain ones not to, uh, you can use a helper column in that situation too. So it's a lot of different ways to use the, the helper column, but in this case, uh, we used it to to further filter uh, to further filter uh, uh, items in the list. You can also um, use it to sort so you can use your um, you can use your you know your, your sort function and so you can sort the largest items here but that messed up the, the spreadsheet so we won't do that we'll undo that <laughs> but in any case uh, a little bit about the helper column and uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh, and please subscribe uh, so you can get our content as it becomes available. And uh, tell a friend. And uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.